You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, it's that time of the year. It is after the Super Bowl, and Eric Bieniemy did not get a head coaching position. It seems like we're going to be making these videos year after year after the Super Bowl. Because the media is outraged when this one particular black guy does not get a head coaching position. Even though D'Amico Ryans just got a head coaching position with the Houston Texans. I said that he would actually get that job. D'Amico Ryans drafted by the Texans, played there, and he did a great job in San Francisco. So there was no doubt about it. D'Amico Ryans was going to get that job. But however... Eric Bieniemy, he seems to be very, very protected by the mainstream media. You know, if Eric Bieniemy never gets a head coaching job, then all of a sudden, all of the NFL owners are racist, according to the mainstream media, even though these owners have created generational wealth for these NFL players. The vast majority of NFL players are black. And they are paid very, very well. You know, these uh, so-called racist NFL owners, top four or five QBs to be paid at the quarterback position of all time are all black or partially black. But it will never, ever be enough. Never for the mainstream media. I may sound like a broken record. You guys have actually heard Rose talk about Airbnb. I mean, Airbnb does not call the plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, Patrick Mahomes, he just won a Super Bowl. And somebody in the media actually made a pretty dumb comment saying that uh, the coordinators from the losing team actually end up getting coaching positions while Airbnb, who is the offensive coordinator for the Chiefs, did not. That's a dumb, dumb comparison right there. Now, Airbnb has a bunch of baggage in his background. This man has a criminal rap sheet, and I believe that's what actually is holding him back. I mean, D'Amico Ryan's black guy had no problem whatsoever getting a job. But that brings us to one Skip Bayless of uh, Undisputed with Skip and Shannon. He made probably the most idiotic statement we have actually heard when it comes to Eric Bieniemy. Not getting his job. I mean, Eric Bieniemy, that is the one black coach, you know, because his criminal past, you know, the media, you know, they love to elevate criminals. And I'm not even saying right now that Eric Bieniemy is a criminal, but this man had a criminal past. Maybe he actually changed his ways, but trust me, your past can definitely affect your future. And no doubt about it, more than likely, it probably did. Plus, also him not calling the offensive plays in um in Kansas City. Yeah. And guess what, guys? Patrick Mahomes can make a whole bunch of coordinators look pretty good, just like Tom Brady did. But anyway, you guys can see here on OutKick, Skip Bayless, white NFL owners avoid hiring black coaches so they don't have to interact with them and their wives at dinner. This is wild right here. This is a very, very wild statement right here. I mean, Skip Bayless offers no evidence whatsoever because essentially he's calling the NFL owners racist. Racist. Now, Shah Khan down there in, um, in Jacksonville, he doesn't have a black coach. He actually hired Doug Peterson, who I think is a very good coach. Doug Peterson, what he did after the Urban Meyer disaster, that man probably should have won a coach of the year. But anyway, let's look here. On OutKick, it says Skip Bayless has figured it out. He knows why there aren't more black coaches in the NFL and why Eric Bieniemy has been uh, struck as the been stuck as the offensive coordinator with uh, Kansas City all these years. While you may have thought black coaches not being hired has something to do with qualifications, Bayless thinks it has everything to do with white team owners 
trying to get out of dinner reservations with coaches and their wives. Yeah, this is dumb. This is some big brain stuff from Mr. Bayless. The enemy, just like the last handful of off seasons, has been floated as the perfect candidate to take over as a head coach of every team with a vacancy. Now, after teams have passed on him, the media is back on his the NFL is racist bandwagon. Yes, they are. The focus only intensifies about the color of his skin as opposed to his qualifications or troubled history. Yeah, I believe it's troubled history because the Houston Texans, they just hired their fourth straight black head coach. And I'm counting Romeo Cannell, even though he was actually the interim. David Cully, Lovey Smith, now D'Amico Rines. All of them are black. But Skip Bayless believes that all of the owners are racist. And the Texans, they actually have a white owner in Cal McNair. I mean, this is ridiculous, man. I, I believe that the woke sports media, they love doing this because for some reason, I guess it's for shot value or they want a virtue signal. Anytime a black head coach or black coach doesn't get a head coaching position. They play the race card. For one thing, guys, these positions are extremely rare. And they're super hard to get. They're very, very hard to get. Um, it says here, during the latest episode of Undisputed, Bayless brought up an op-ed written by the hateful Nancy Armour, Arm Armour, however you pronounce her name, uh, titled NFL Owners uh, Don't Want Black and Brown Men as Their Head Coaches. <laughs> yeah, there's, you know what, in addition to, I believe there's what, four black coaches in the NFL, there's also some mixed race coach, coaches as well. Uh, remember um, the uh, Miami Dolphins head coach, Mike McDaniel? Remember the media freaked out because they thought he was white, but he's actually biracial. And then they went go silent on that. Uh, but anyway, right here. After saying he's been saying the same thing on national TV for the last decade plus, he offered up his dinner avoidance theory. Quote, I'm going to boil it down to, quote, these older white owners just aren't that comfortable with a black head coach because they need to interact. They need to go to dinner with the wives or the significance or whatever. And they're just not that comfortable, Bayless said, according to Mediaite. Uh, the Houston Texans hired D'Amico Rines, who I brought up this uh, last this last head coaching cycle. But one black coach being hired when there was only five vacancies isn't good enough, according to Bayless. You know what? I believe we need more, uh, let's say, white representation from the players. Nobody's complaining that the NFL players are just it's just too black. But when it comes to coaching, they always say it's too white. You know what, guys? To me, that definitely seems racist right there. If you ask me, in my opinion, right? They're trying to say that the coaching ranks are too white, but you'll never, ever hear anybody in the media say that the players are just too black. You know what? Because they would get crushed if they said that. But going back to the enemy, this is the reason why I believe this man is not getting a head coaching position. This is his rap sheet right here. Uh, this is on our kick as well. There are reasons beyond football why Eric Bieniemy is not an NFL head coach. And you know what? This is his own doing right here. Now, let's go ahead and look at this. It actually says here there are some. Um, so there are, are the football reasons. Some people in the league believe Bieniemy needs to be an offense coordinator for a team that allows him to call plays. And those plays need to be delivered to a quarterback not named Patrick Mahomes. Those are valid concerns, but they don't. Uh, encapsulate the entire picture. Airbnb has a troubled past that rarely, if ever, gets mentioned. As an offensive coordinator, especially for a team with Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes, he is not the face of the franchise. Uh, becoming a head coach thrusts people into the spotlight, and with that spotlight comes a deeper dive into who Bianami is, and it doesn't paint such a pretty picture. Bianami has been arrested at least four times. In 1989, Colorado police arrested him and Buffalo's teammate, uh, 
Canavius uh, McGee for getting getting into a fight at a bar. One year later, in 1990, he pleaded no contest to a charge of shoving a firefighter. In 1993, as a member of the San Diego Chargers, he allegedly grabbed a female parking attendant and threatened her. I believe that's probably the worst. He was arrested and had an outstanding warrant for driving without a license. In 2001, as a member of the Buffalo Bills uh, coaching staff, suspicion of DUI led to another arrest for the in-battle coach. The team penalized him by withholding one month pay. My goodness. That's a long rap sheet. You know what, by the way, Andy Reid's son did something similar. He got charged with a, um, actually convicted if I'm not mistaken, with a DUI, DWI, something like that. Remember, he injured a little girl by by uh, drunk driving. Eric Bieniemy, same thing right there. Luckily, nobody actually got hurt in that. But do you guys think that Andy Reid's son is ever going to get a head coaching position in the league? No, he won't get sniffed. Why? Because of his troubled past. That is the reason why. And I believe it's no different here with Eric Bieniemy. But Skip Bayless wants to play the race card. You know what? He's not going to get any backlash from the media because this is the way the media thinks. They look strictly at race for everything. Everything. Everything is racist to the Walt Sports Media. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.